we're going to have more, you know, social media stuff and other things, and a lot of other stuff as well. Um, but I just wanted to add a piece that I feel might be helpful. So, is there right up here? How do you move? From fear, when we get stuck, when, um, you know, when we're just like in that place of how do I move forward from here, or how do I move from this place, how, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Right. So from fear, how do we move from fear to possibility? Take action. Right? Take action. Who said that? Awesome. Thank you. That's one of the key pieces of moving forward, is to actually just take action and do it. And sometimes, I know for me, I've been in, I've been in places where I keep taking action, but I can't get out of my stuck place. <laughs> and that action comes from a place of fear, or it comes from a place of, well, it is fear. I mean, whatever name you give it, it all comes down to fear. So there's a, there's a technique that I've learned to shift that from myself, and, and I just thought it might be helpful for me to share it. Yay. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a very kinesthetic person, and so for me, I, I use my senses, I use my body, I, I, you know, it's kind of how I get myself moving. So when I feel myself in a place of fear, or in a place of stuckness, one of, the, one of the things that I found helpful for me to do is that I, I create a space for myself. Whether that's, you know, shut myself in the bedroom or whatever, I create a space for myself so that I can just be in this process. I can just be in this, you know, place of trying to get myself out of there. So, my stuck place is wherever I'm standing. So here I am, this is what I'm feeling, and I really acknowledge what's going on. So I bring myself present to where I am right now. Right, here I am, I have this issue, you know, I'm stuck in this place, whatever it is. And then I physically move, and I leave my stuck place here, and I'll move, and I'll go, okay, all right, there's my stuck place, and I ask myself a question. One of the things that we talk about a lot here, how do you, how do you reach out to people, how do you engage? How do you connect? How do, well, we, not really you, I mean all of us, right? How do, how do we do that? We ask questions, right? That's the key piece to connect with anybody. To start building rapport with anybody is to ask questions. So we forget that we can do that with ourselves. We can do the same thing right here. So, so here's my present reality is this. So I move away from that consciously, leaving it there. So I am in a different place. Because one of the things I found is that when I ask myself questions from this place, the answers are very different to the question, to the answers I get if I move out of that place and I'm asking from a place of possibility. And for me to be able to do that, I have to physically move. 
I have to create a way of separating out the fear and the stuckness and having it be separate from this place of possibility. And there are, you know, we all have different ways of doing things like that. Um, there, are, there are a lot of internal processes that some of us maybe use. Um, one of the things that I do is that I consciously drop from here into my gut. Because I know that for me, that's kind of where I connect to the real truth of who I am. And so when I leave my stuck place behind and I move over here into what I call a place of possibility, at the same time, I'll drop into here. Just consciously with my, you know, inside myself. And I ask myself a question. I wonder what it would be like if I could have this be different. And that question for me, it's like when we move into a place of possibility, we move into a place of wonder. Becoming like a child. Right? This place of pure possibility, pure wonder. So I wonder how this could be different. I wonder what it might be like if I could have this be different. What would that look like? So I start asking myself those questions. And I find, when, when I first started doing this, I found that I kept getting being dragged back here. <clears throat> Like, oh, I wonder how this could be different. It's not going to be different. This is how it is. This is what I've got to do. No. Step over here. That's the fear. It's not the whole truth. It's just a piece of how I'm perceiving what's going on right now. So I wonder how this could be different. And to answer that question, just the keep staying here until I find some answers to that question. So that's the first piece. That's number one, is asking the questions, right? So moving from this place to this place, however you do that, and then asking myself the questions, right? I wonder. I love that word. I wonder. It just, it's like just even saying that word just kind of goes, ha, huh, for me. So, so that's, that's the first part. Then there's a couple other parts that come out, come, come after that. So once I get that answer, I wonder if... Then I have to bring it home. Then I have to get it from, I wonder, because even though I'm sitting here finding the answers, it, it's, you know, it's still up here a lot. And so the other questions I ask myself following that are to do with actually grounding it in myself. So one of the things we talk about a lot here is when we have a vision and we create our dream boards, one of the ways that we get to make that a reality, one of the ways that we get to actually have that start showing up is that we have to work with it. Right? We have to Imagine what it would feel like to have that. We have to do that with as much fullness as possible. And the more we do that as an ongoing practice, 
the more likely it is that it's going to manifest because truly what we're doing is we're, we're bringing it into 3D reality by, by that constant practice. We're grounding it here. And so this is another piece, same, same thing, same technology. And so I wonder how that would feel. I wonder how that would taste, how that would sound, how that would look, how that... So I start engaging all my senses. <coughs> and even just doing that piece, I find myself in a completely different place. Then there's two more pieces. Right. So, first question, I wonder. And then there's what I call the sensory questions. And then the third piece, it's one of my favorite things in the world, which is called gratitude. So the third piece, is to look at, okay, the, whatever this thing is that, that I am, you know, working with right now, whatever the fear is, whatever the situation is, whatever the, whatever is going on here that I am in process of shifting, what, what is it about this that I can be grateful? and list as many things as you can. <coughs> about the new possibility you've created that you can be grateful for, or about? About the, the whole, whole situation. situation. Yeah. Because we, the more tools that we use to take us through this place of change, this place of, of transformation, the more grounded we will be in the new place when, when we finish whatever we're doing here as we move forward. So if we can look at the situation and go, what, what am I grateful for here? Because there's always, no matter what the situation, there is always a way to find gratitude. And then the fourth piece, I'm running through this real quick. So the fourth piece is how can I be an agent of change for someone else? How can I open up possibility for another person? So it's actually a very simple technique that we can use with ourselves, we can use with other people in our downlines who are in a place of stuckness or a place of fear or whatever. Um, it's something that we can use multiple times a day. It can go really quickly. You can spend hours in it. <laughs> It's just, I just find it hugely, hugely beneficial. So what I would love for us to do right now is not just talk about it, but actually find a way to work with it. And we're not going to have, we're not going to take a whole lot of time, but find a partner. So pair up with somebody and just identify an issue that has you be somewhat stuck. And if it's around the business and life force and DTC and, and whatever, all the better. 
If it's not, if you don't have anything there, find something in your life. Just, just find something that you can use to actually get a taste of going through this and seeing how, how helpful it can be, if it can be helpful for you. So find a partner. And first things, first of all, sure. find a partner. So anybody, anyone need a partner? Anyone not got a partner? You can be in threes, so that's okay. Christine, I'll grab you. Okay, all right. Okay, good. So, first piece is to identify the issue. What it, you know, whatever it is that is in your life. Identify the issue. And then, if you, one of the things I would recommend is that you actually physically do move yourself. Yeah. So you, you sit in another chair. That's an easy way to do it. Like, so there's the chair with, with the fear place, the stuck place, the whatever place. And I'm sitting in this chair, and I'm in a different place. The physical moving makes a huge difference. So whether you stand, whether you sit, doesn't matter. So identify the issue, move yourself, and then start asking the questions of possibility. I wonder how this could be different. And re this is really about getting in touch with our own inner knowing. Because we know all these answers. We've got them. So are we asking our partner these questions? No. No, no. Yeah, we, we, okay, so one of, the, one of the most powerful ways to do this is to be witnessed. And if you feel, so one person goes first, then they, the other person, if you feel like your partner is stuck, the person who is asking themselves the questions of possibility can say, I need some help. Otherwise, just be a witness. And then swap. Is, is that all clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right.
anybody need a few extra minutes or are you about ready to wrap up? Almost done. Okay, a couple extra minutes and we'll wrap it up.
I, I look at her as somebody who is striving to always make herself better and wants to help be, you know me be better. But knowing that she had some of the exact identical same fears as a three star diamond, I was just like, and we talk a lot. But that that's just great to express that, and I mm -hmm. felt even more, and I felt very very safe. And um, yeah, I, I loved it. That was great. Good. Thank you. Thank you.